Hello, this video is for you if you want to update your ASUS Tough B450 Pro Gaming motherboard. And for, for us to do this, we're going to need to download this BIOS right here. Uh, for you, it's going to be a different version and a different date. That's the one I have here, depending on when you watch the video. And I'll leave a link to this in the video description for you to download as well. Now we click on download and we click on start download once it's done uh, I'm gonna drag it here to the desktop and I'm gonna plug in a USB drive or you can plug in any external drive you want to use for us to update this BIOS now I already have the file here I'm just gonna delete it and put here the new one that we downloaded I'm just going to drag and drop. This is the only file we need. I'm just going to drag and drop this one. And that's it. Now we restart. And we keep pressing F2 in the keyboard until we go to the BIOS. Now from here, we're going to see all our stats. Now we're going to go to the advanced mode. And here we're going to go to tool. And the Asus Easy Flash 3 utility. From here, we're going to select our drive that we put the BIOS update on. For me, it's this one. And this is the update we have. We click on it. It will give us a warning, but we're just going to click on yes on this one. Click on yes. Do you want to read this file? Yes, BIOS information, yes as well. Now this may take up to five minutes, but I'm just gonna skip ahead. We don't have to wait for it. Update is successful. This is a message you're gonna receive after it's done. After you click OK, it's gonna restart automatically. Now make sure to keep pressing F2 for us to go back to the BIOS again. Now we are back in the BIOS and our all of our settings are going to be reset. Now we go back to advanced mode and we're going to check the uh, if the new version is applied. Now we go back to the tool just like before and uh, on the flash utility and here we get we can see the new version is updated. Now if your settings now your settings will be reset resetted and so we, I'm going to do the uh, overclock and I've done before. So make sure to overclock if you have done that before. For me, I'm just going to go with these settings. Once we're done, we exit and we save the changes. We click on OK. And that should be it. We will restart to Windows. I hope this helps you. And peace out.